But the morning after I first met, we spoke about nothing. But still the conversation meant everything. It meant enough that we spoke the words, I like you and you can stay. The words that are now wrapped around our fingers for eternity. While our love has taken a beating and it's been broken once before, it stands stronger now, more than ever. On this day we unite and become a team we both speak about because with you by my side I feel as I can move mountains. I feel like I can become anything I want and accomplish anything, any task set before me. I want to hold your hand and never let go. Walking through life with you by my side, fending off anything that might make you cry. Help you overcome any obstacle that might be in your way to reach your full potential and I hope you would do the same. was out here with the sole intention of making everybody feel emotional and cry. I, on the other hand, am here to make you all laugh. Yeah. I tried. So. I tried. I tried. <laughs> it was all right. Um, so two, so 3.5 years ago on Valentine's Day, two people who were incredibly lonely on the day of love decided to go on a date. I worked in a nightclub and they told me that they didn't need me on Valentine's Day. So I was going to be alone at home with my mum and my cat and I thought, bugger that, I need to go and do something. So a few, a few days previously, I was stalked by some weird guy on the internet. I've heard a similar story. <laughs> who was kind of cute, but I didn't date Ginger, so it was all new territory to me. <laughs> But without even a second thought, plus it was my first Valentine's alone, I decided to catch a megabus up to Leeds to meet a guy who I was 90% sure was going to be a creep, but at least, <laughs> at least I wouldn't be alone on Valentine's Day. He Possibly. met me at his friend's house and made some awkward jokes, gave me a single rose, corny, and... <laughs> We got a lift back to his house. His parents came back from an evening together and mid snog in the kitchen, I was thrusted into meeting his parents. <laughs> See, this is why I only date guys who have their own places. I thought in my head, but then I flashed back to an idea of watching chip flicks, sharing an ice cream with my cat while my mum falls asleep in the living room with one tit hanging out and I thought, it could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I remember when we first kissed and you looked me dead in the eye and I pushed you away and I thought, and, oh, sorry, and then you pushed me away and I thought to myself that maybe I was moving too fast or maybe that you were regretting it, but, <laughs> or maybe that you were gonna tell me that you were, had a girlfriend or you were gonna let me down like every other dude has. Staring across at you, I had 50 billion things running through my head. It turns out that you needed your inhaler because a bitch <laughs> took your breath away. <laughs> that evening, we stayed up all night chatting and we got to know together. <laughs> got to know each other. You know, got to know each other. <laughs> And we fell in love instantly. Some say I was digmatized, but... <laughs> but no, I knew that I loved you. But no, I knew that I loved you from the late night phone calls when the only thing I could say was, yeah, everything is just so chill. chill. <laughs> what, what was I even saying? I didn't even use that language. It wasn't a part of my vocabulary ever. Uh, the persistence that you've always shown when it comes to obtaining my love and the corny dad jokes, even your inability to breathe like a normal human. <laughs> How do you fail at breathing? <laughs> But the point is, there was something about you that I liked. It made me travel on a megabus to a location that I've never been to be with people that I barely knew to hang out with a guy who potentially could have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about what I did that day was safe. <laughs> and not only to visit you, two weeks later, we moved in together. In hindsight, it was a bad decision as we almost killed each other. <laughs> We have been long distance, we have been close together, and you have taught me so much about persistence, drive, patience, and love. I had no idea that love meant that somebody thinks about you several times a day, so they call and text you on their lunch break to say hello and ask how your day is. It's weird, seriously, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now, through our trials and tribulations, through the ups and downs, the makeups and breakups, we are committing ourselves to each other. And I've decided that I want you and nobody else. That, in fact, that I do like gingers. And that I will be the Meghan Markle to your Prince Harry. Yeah. Today has been one of the best days of my life because today goes to show that nagging works. <laughs> the thing is with men, we have to guide them. We have to mould them into thinking that this is what they wanted all along. <laughs> Gareth won't remember that almost, in fact, six months prior to our engagement, I was grooming him like an old man waiting by the school gates over bright hand and every candy. <laughs> He thinks that he picked my ring, but the fact is that I did. <laughs> I went a little bit further than leaving a few engagement ring websites open on a home computer or a couple of dog ears in the Argos catalog. I told him that I would only accept a 14 karat rose gold solitaire diamond encrusted with mini diamonds and oh! <laughs> would you look at that? There are many people thrown around the world that he is my rock, that Gareth is your rock. But Gareth's not like a rock. Rocks are hard and cold. I would say that you're more like a mattress. <laughs> and that's not because I've had some of the best nights of my life on top of you. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How did you bow? I've got to take credit where credit's due. <laughs> All jokes aside, Gareth, you are the only person I want to be with. And I know that because I can take a poop with the door open and you'll sit on the stairs to chat to me. <laughs> In the ambience of my smell. <laughs> if that isn't love, then I don't know what is you are the true definition of I like you you can stay <laughs> too much money in the bank I ain't trying to play no games I hate to go on set copy on my hustle all day
little bitch Stay in your place, motherfucker, I'm paid Too much money in the bank I ain't tryna play no games Fuck, I hate to go on sack I be on my hustle all day, little bitch Stay in your place